Another Lesson that is part of the TI30XB student course. In this lesson, we'll be using the calculator to help us with area and volume. So what I want to start with is the surface area of a cylinder. And there are two ways we can write the surface area formula. We can write it as 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h, or we could factorise that to 2 pi r, and then in a bracket, r plus h. Let's start off with 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. So if I have a cylinder of radius four centimetres and of height 12 centimetres, then I can use my calculator to find that surface area by going two multiplied by pi. You can use this pi button and that's a much better value to use than 3.14, which is just an approximation. And notice I don't have to put a multiply in between those. So then I multiply that by 4 squared. So that's my 2 pi r squared. And I'm going to add on the curved surface area, the 2 pi r h. So once again, 2 pi and then multiplied by and the r was 4. And then we multiply by the height which was 12, and we press enter, and it gives us an exact answer. So that's the advantage of using the pi button, is that we get this exact answer in terms of pi. So 128 pi, and that would be in centimetres squared. If you want to know how big that is, you can press the toggle button to get the decimal approximation. 402.12 centimetres squared for two decimal places. All right, but as I said, we could also have used it in the factorised form, and that's even easier. So if I go to pi, and then I can open up a, a multiply by four, sorry, and then open up a bracket, and I want 4 plus 12 and close my bracket. So I have 2 pi r and then that's multiplied by r plus h. And if I press enter, I get that 128 pi again. Now, either way that I do that, if I then change one of those measurements, so perhaps instead of four centimetres, it might be 4.2 centimetres, then what I can do is use the up arrow twice and press enter. And I can go back and edit those numbers. So if I go to here, what I want to do is insert. So second, insert. And I'm going to put in 0.2. And then I'm going to do the same after the other four. So second, insert, 0.2, and press enter. Notice that it no longer comes up with an exact value in terms of pi. And that's because I have that decimal in my uh, calculation. All right, so for volume, the volume of the cylinder is pi r squared h. So if I had that first cylinder, radius 4, height of 12, then I would press the pi button, multiplied by the radius squared, and multiplied by the height, and I press enter, and I get 192 pi centimetres cubed because it's a volume. If I want to know what that approximates to, I can use the toggle button once again.
and I can see that that's 603.19 to two decimal places. Well, that's it for this lesson. 